Look, we all know pro players come and go all the time, and only a handful end up changing the scene in a meaningful way. From popularizing techniques to innovating strategies, there really aren't too many pros who can claim they've revolutionized the game. What's up, Pro Guides fam? I'm Cody, and today we're gonna to be ranking the top 10 players who have had a massive game-changing impact on Fortnite Esports. Starting at number 10, we've got Thwaifo. He's a player from the OG days of Fortnite who was one of the leading build fight pioneers, teaching us all insane mechanics like the Thwaifo Cone. Ever since Thwaifo popularized it, the Thwaifo Cone has been a staple building move. The idea of placing walls and a cone down for protection was revolutionary and before long, everyone had switched from simple ramps to the Thwaifo Cone method. As his videos started to get more and more popular, the era of more advanced building techniques had begun. Thwaifo was cracked before we even started using the term. His montages showed us exactly what building was capable of, long before Creative had given everyone a place to experiment with the mechanics of the game. He doesn't play Fortnite anymore, but if he hadn't been there at the beginning to teach us all how in-depth building could be, there's no telling where the game would be now. He changed the game forever. Do you want to build fight with the best the way the pros do now? Well, if you want to improve at Fortnite really quickly, you should check out ProGuides.com. We've got coaches who are online 24 seven, ready and waiting to teach you guys the tips and tricks you need to know this season. Who knows, maybe they're exactly what you need to take your skill to the next level. Next up at number nine, we've got Sway. He may not have ever competed in tournaments, but over the years, face Sway and high ground retakes have become virtually synonymous. When you hear one, you instantly think of the other. In fact, his retake tutorials are actually some of the most popular videos on his channel. Basically, if you've ever learned a retake, it's almost definitely because of Sway. Even if you didn't learn from him, he was one of the very first players to actually show off the importance of retakes and definitely inspired some other players to innovate with their own variations. It's not just retakes either. The whole concept of a creative warrior was pretty much popularized by Sway. Even up against other pros and bigger streamers, he showed that the sky was the limit when it came to building talent. None of that even touches on the fact that Sway started out as a console player. He showed everyone that you didn't need a fancy PC to build like a pro. All you needed was a controller, a mastery of the claw grip, and the determination to keep on improving. Before we continue with the list, we know everyone's going to have their own opinions. So today's question of the day is, who do you think advanced Fortnite esports the most? Let us know your thoughts below and let's get back to the video. Coming in at number eight, it is Zexro. Zexro was never really the biggest personality on the scene but his impact cannot be understated. He, and to a lesser extent his duo partner Vinny, showed that a W key play style in tournaments could be viable if you had the skill to pull it off. Before Zexro, Fortnite at the top level had become incredibly passive. Pro gameplay was primarily about making it to end game and being able to outheal your opponents. Zex flipped all that on its head. In the post World Cup era, you pretty much needed to know how to W key. If you didn't, if you didn't, you'd probably have a better chance at finding 10 gold scars in a row than you would for qualifying for a big tourney. Since he was so aggressive, Zexro was also one of the early pioneers of box fighting. It was also his preferred fighting style before anyone was even calling it a box fight. And as soon as everyone else saw how well it worked, they all jumped on the trend as well. If we're on the subject of box fights, then we have to mention Clicks, who's coming in at number seven. Clicks took what guys like Zexro had pioneered and took it up to the next level. Clicks truly started to blow up because of his performance in the World Cup qualifiers, where he managed to qualify five times because of his innovative W Keen playstyle. At the time, wall taking was kind of known about already but Clicks worked to optimize it and help push it into the mainstream. In the qualifiers, he would just walk up and take wall after wall, and at the time, players didn't know how to respond because it was so new and fresh. After the World Cup, 
Clicks took the box fighting to a whole new level. The techniques he created and the way he positioned, as well as the edits he made, were all so advanced that it was only a matter of time before other pros started doing them too. I mean, how often is the peanut butter edit still used? Uh, basically in every single game. Sure, Clicks didn't invent the peak, but is he responsible for everyone using it due to his influence? We'd say so. Next up, at number six, we have got Martaz. Martaz is another player who isn't really known for taking parts in events, but nonetheless, he's still one of the most significant contributors in spreading game knowledge and techniques. Just a few months after the release of Fortnite, Martaz was already releasing tips and trick videos. He had produced content on optimal keybinds, how to do 90s, and even how to waterfall. These are all considered pretty basic in 2021, but back then, whew, these were all trailblazing innovative techniques. Every time some new technique popped up, Martaz was one of the first to spread it. Stretched resolution, Martaz was there. Coning players, Martaz was there. New strategies and edits, Martaz was... Okay, I think you get the point. He may not have been the inventor of most of these tricks, but he got them out there to so many people that we just had to mention him on the list. But let's keep on chugging. Coming in at number five, we have got Zate. He's been a top pro player ever since Fortnite esports were just some rinky dink squad games. And now he's still up there battling for millions among the rest of the goats. Is it a surprise that everyone has tried to mimic his style? You see, Zate is the master of the meta game. He started the trend of alphaing drop spots, almost always securing an uncontested drop spot in major tournaments. How does he do it? He announces his drop spot on Twitter, and then he doesn't budge an inch. In practice games and scrims, he contests opponents ruthlessly until they eventually give up on the spot. He's an endgame god too. No matter the season, Zayt has always set the trends by inventing some strategy to secure him the dub. In the early days, he was a heal-off hero, but once that got nerfed, he started controlling height where he could always come up with unique tactics. That's all just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Zayt. Overall, it's pretty clear that the atmosphere of Fortnite esports in NA would have been totally different if it wasn't for Zayt. Moving on to number four. We've got FaZe Mongrel. Until two years ago, you actually had to be at least 16 years old to play in an official Fortnite tournament. That all changed when Mongrel exploded onto the scene. He was a Fortnite prodigy, featured on national news and signed to an org before he was even eligible to compete. He was one of the best players that the world had ever seen, and so a movement began to let him and other young and eager players into the tournament. Eventually, Epic listened and lowered the age requirement down to 13. This might not have been solely because of Mongrel, but he was definitely one of the figureheads of the movement. And that buzz almost definitely played a part in Epic's choice. He's had a massive impact in game as well. He advanced the fighting meta with the Mongrel Classic, and now quintessential box fighting move that every player, and I really do mean every player, has to have in their arsenal. He also popularized using a ramp to phase into boxes during the World Cup qualifiers, which is something his duo Mitro came up with. All in all, Mongrel is a beast! Back in the days when Fortnite was still fresh out the oven, our number three spot myth showed the potential of both himself and Fortnite as a whole. Back then, no one really understood building, so most players only really placed walls or basic ramps with no real thought as to what they were doing. Myth was different. He innovated from the start and came up with new ways to push players that involved throwing out multiple pieces every second long before turbo building even existed. This dude was ahead of the game. Myth's strategy of building to take the high ground before going for damage took off and served as a blueprint for many of the fighting strategies we see today. He was also one of the first to show how useful editing was at a time where 90% of players probably didn't even know they could edit. At the time, everyone was new to Fortnite and all those thousands of people watching him were soaking up his moves like sponges. They all saw Myth building up to the sky and ramp pushing, and those building techniques spread like wildfire to make Fortnite competitive what it is today. Mm -hmm. 
Is it controversial to put Unknown Army at our number two spot? Maybe, but this controller legend deserves it. In 2019, Unknown achieved a ton, ranging from qualifying for the World Cup to winning the squad's FNCS. But in 2020, he actually went on to innovate and help come up with the modern peace control meta. Anyone can replace a wall, but boxing and players completely was popularized by Unknown. He had so many tricks up his sleeve to pull it off and was one of the first to use combinations of techniques to trap players to end fights quickly. Oh, and who can forget about the old legacy aim assist option, or as everyone liked to call it, L2 spamming. Unknown was an L2 spamming god. Sure, he was highly skilled in his own right, but no one abused the old aim assist quite like Unknown. Before long, all the controller players were doing it, and it became such a big deal that Epic had to revamp the entire aim assist targeting system. When Fortnite started to blow up, no one thought controller players could compete on the same stage as keyboard and mouse players. But Unknown was one of the first to show that it wasn't just possible for them to compete, but that they could excel against their KBM counterparts. Deciding on the number one was hard, but after a ton of deliberation, we're going with Tifu. At his height, Tifu had millions of fans. He was nearly at peak ninja levels of notoriety, but unlike ninja, Tifu was a more legitimate competitor who grinded the game out every day, exposing scrimming, game terminology, techniques, and general competitive know-how to the masses. For example, let's look at the Tifu classic. Before Tifu showed the importance of building after each shot, most players would just shoot and then keep shooting. Now it's a fundamental concept, but back then it was brand new and everyone hopped onto the idea. What about spotting llamas from the air? It was another thing that Tifu started doing with other pros following soon after. He was also the king of exploits. There was the turbo farm glitch, which blew up and was patched out because Tifu brought it out on comp discords and into the mainstream. There was a crouch peak head glitch that Tifu single-handedly popularized. And of course, the concept of phasing through builds, which is now just a regular aspect of the game. Above all that though, we have to say scrims are what Tifu changed the scene with the most. He took it into his own hands to host comp custom lobbies for his fans, which gave players a place to practice that felt just a bit more legit than the open scrim discords at the time. Oh, and they were streamed to thousands of viewers every day, meaning that even if his viewers didn't get into the game, they could at least see top level gameplay. It's hard to understate just how much Tifu managed to do to advance competitive Fortnite. He's probably one of the most popular comp players of all time and we just don't think things would have been the same without all of his contributions. Okay, Pro Guides fam, those were 10 pros who we think changed the Fortnite esports forever. But don't forget to let us know who you think is the pro who changed the scene the most. And if you enjoyed the video or learned something new, leave a like and don't forget to sub and ring the bell so you'll know whenever we upload a new video. I'm Cody, and I'll see y'all in the next one.